talking about how to set up a, a, a PAM4 signal with an eye first and then we'll go ahead and make some measurements. So this is what the end result is going to be. So we're actually going to go to um, default setup just to kill everything. Um, so what we have uh, going into this is a PRBS 13Q signal at 106 gigabit per second. So the first thing um, you probably want to do is uh, go to auto scale just to get it up. And the first thing is to de-skew it. So, so what Mike was suggesting is we can go into differential mode. Now you can do the auto scale and it looks pretty good, but when you look at the common mode, which is the green, let's say we were off, let's say it was zero, you're gonna see that, let me see if I can move that, make it look worse. So 450 seconds or one picosecond. This starts to grow and get a little fatter. You can see that kind of it. So you don't want that. Um, you could also you could do auto or you can manually tune that if you want. So you can manually tune that. that it's, it's giving us, and that can be done on either channel. I can set that to zero, set that to zero on the two. Um, but if you auto scale it, it should set it correctly. But you just want to check that. So that's number one. Um, you can turn off channel two. You can do it through the button or you can just shut it off so you don't have to look at it. The next thing for PAM for signaling, it's really important, signal type. That's the, that's this. So you go in here, signal type. Um, we got PAM4. Uh, lightning bolt means it's hardware accelerated, but we're not, this one doesn't have that mode. We could put in our rate, so 53. Point one, two, five, gig. So it, in the setup wizard, it'll guess, but sometimes it's off by half. So it'll come up again. So I, I just selected setup wizard, prefer accuracy in our case. Uh, you can do auto scale again. There is a bandwidth limit option, which we probably want to do. Um, we're doing 40 gig. So we're going to do that. Uh, yeah, so we just checked our data rates here. If it guesses at it, it may get it wrong. You can also correct it here. It doesn't matter. PLL, you can set there. Whatever PLL you're supposed to be doing. And clock recovery, I usually leave them default. And I leave the memory to the memory depth. Click on auto set. It'll look for the correct uh, slicing lines. You can click it a few times. Those might vary a little bit, depending. You'll see some, well, that's quite a bit actually. So we go finish. So we gotta wait. So that should get us. Oh, sorry, next. It'll ask us if we want to add on some measurements. I'm just gonna skip those. And then we go finish. So it has all these measurements. We're not looking at those measurements. And we can go back, we'll do the EQ as well, I'll show you that. But first, let's go back to we can delete all measurements. So you can get it through from here, I'm going to delete all. Um, and then you can go measure, add measurement. Uh, scroll down to uh, PAM, and we want to add whichever measurements. Let's put EOJ, apply 13Q, apply J4U, apply J3U, apply. You can choose your units here, but if you decided afterwards you wanted to change that, you can do that. I kind of go back and change them all, but you can go back and change them. You can go edit measurement, so that's the only thing. Set it to UI. Uh, we'll leave that for now. You, the other ones will probably be different, but I'm not that concerned. So at this point, the heat graph we don't need. Oh, it says no pattern found. Interesting. So. Next, we did go in, so maybe this will help us in equalization. Um, we chose FFE, we turn it on, and then we can auto set the taps, and then you click run auto set. 
So that's what we did. And you can look at your tabs, what, what were the settings, uh, the BFD tabs. Now the only thing I'm a little concerned about is no pattern found. Do we have not enough data on the screen? It's usually a sign there's not enough memory. There we go. So uh, it should have put enough memory, but clearly it didn't. When you have incomplete, it means it did have enough pattern memory, and it, it, it could see the entire pattern. So for some reason, uh, our default selection was low for that. So now it's accumulating, and we should be able to get a measurement. It's interesting. Now, I also noticed when we ran this wizard, the eye was already fairly open from the get-go. So must have optimized something for us. So we'll just let that run. Yeah, that's a big one. Okay, so DOJ. Oh, edit. Oh, right, right, right. When you set it, there it is right there. Yeah, so I'm going to just set it for 10 or I think 100. It's just, all it is is. Oh, it'll do 200 or something. Okay. Remember, all that is is how long it's all Right, okay. Down and wait for 10,000. And get the proper answer. Yeah, and I. Yeah, and I. Yeah, so it's a it's a quick look at it. So yeah, I had and to go back in to change these to if you like them in MIL UI, you have to edit each one. So edit measurement, unit interval, and apply for each one. So that's the only thing I didn't do. 